Hello everyone. I got some requests to do some examples on the alien dichotomous key worksheet. So I'm going to go through a few of these with you. The first one I'm going to look at is number one, creature number one here. Now, one thing you need to know is that these numbers of the creatures have nothing to do with the numbers on the uh, key that we look at. Okay, so this number one does not correspond to this number one over here. Okay, we always start at number one a and 1b regardless of what creature we are looking at. Okay, so let's do number one first. So number one says uh, has legs to stand on and 1b says does not have legs to stand on. This number one creature has legs that it's standing on. So for that reason, it is a 1a and our directions for 1a say go to six. So we would go down to number six. We would ignore two, three, four, and five. So just skip over two through five. They do not have any relation to this number one creature. So we would skip down to six and six A and six B say has hair on its back or has no hair on the back. This creature does not have any hair on the back and so for that reason, our directions say to go to number seven. So our number seven says, 7A says has pointed ears, 7B says has rounded ears. This creature has pointed ears. So when we look at 7A, instead of saying to go to a number, this time it has a name. So that means that this name is the name of creature number one. So for that reason, we would type in a number one right here next to Belzark, our name. So number one creature's name is Belzark. Okay, let's do another one. Uh, instead of doing number two, I'm going to scroll down and let's look at number four. Okay, so if we look at number four, like I said, we always start at 1A and 1B. So we would go back up look at 1A and 1B again. So 1A says has legs to stand on, 1B says does not have legs it stands on. And this one is not standing on its leg, so instead of going to 6 this time, we're going to go to number 2 instead. Okay, so looking at number 2, 2A says have spots on the skin, 2B says does not have spots on the skin. So this one clearly does not have any spots on the skin. So that means it's a 2B and 2B says to go to number three. 3A and 3B looks at has, uh, has stripes on the skin and does not have stripes on the skin. This creature does not have stripes on the skin. So the directions for not having stripes on the skin is 3B says go to number four. Okay, number four says has four legs. 4B says does not have four legs. And if we count up the number of legs in this creature, it's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So it does not have four legs. And the directions for 4B say go to five. So we would go to five. 5A and 5B, 5A says has forked tongue and 5B says no forked tongue. And our creature here does have a forked tongue. So it comes down into two points instead of just one point. If we look at this next one down here, you can see that this is not a forked tongue. It just comes to one point. Uh, but this creature here comes down into two points. So that would be a forked tongue. Okay. So since it has a forked tongue, that means that the name of this creature is going to be Neb. Okay, so our number four is going to be named Neb. So we would put a number four there for that reason. Okay, let's do one more. Uh, so I'm going to scroll down to and look at number seven. Again, we go back, we always start with number one on the key. So we're looking at 1A and 1B. Does it have legs to stand on or does it not stand on its legs? So this one is standing on two of its legs. So for that reason, we skip down to number six. And number six says has hair on its back. 
does not have hair on its back. This one does not have hair on its back. So that's a 6B, and our directions for 6B say to go to 7. So we look at 7A, 7B. Uh, so 7A says has pointed ears, 7B says has rounded ears. This creature has rounded ears, okay? So rounded ears, the directions for 7B say go to 8. So we look at 8. Walks on 6 legs, does not walk on 6 legs. This one's only walking on 2 legs, so it's not walking on 6 legs. So that means that we go to 9. Looking at 9, has wings, no wings. This one does not have any wings. Okay, so that would be a 9B. Directions for 9B say go to 10. So we look at 10, has three eyes, does not have three eyes. This creature does not have three eyes. Okay, so that means we go to 11. 11 says has fingers and toes or does not have fingers and toes. This one does not have fingers and toes, it has hooves. Okay, so that means we are going to go to 12. 12A and B, 12A says has sharp pointed teeth, 12B says does not have sharp pointed teeth, okay? This creature does have sharp pointed teeth. Uh, so for that reason, uh, the name of this particular creature is going to be Bizzle. So we would put in a seven next to Bizzle for that particular creature, okay? So I have done three of the creatures for you, one, four, and seven. I would like you to try and do the rest. If you have any more questions, please let me know.